Hey guys, welcome to another uh, R20 communications receiver video. And uh, today we'll talk about the dual watch function of this receiver. One of the very, very, very cool functions of this radio, the one, uh, probably the one of the best functions I've seen in a radio, it is the dual watch that you have on this receiver. It's very cool. This radio actually can listen to two different frequencies at the same time. And yes, you will hear both audio coming out of the speaker. So this is an amazing feature for this radio. I've never seen many portable, uh, actually I've never seen another portable communications receiver that lets you uh, actually use two VFOs or two frequencies at the same time. Basically what it means is that inside this radio you've got two receivers. Each receiver has its own way of working. But you cannot tune, the drawback is you cannot tune all frequencies on both dual watch uh, functions. There's what we call the A side and the B side on the VFO. So how, first of all, how do we put it in dual watch mode? Well, you've got that nice little big button that does say dual watch here. All you have to do is press and hold. And once it beeps, you can see that your display has actually two frequencies. Next to dual watch, you have the main sub. And when you press this button, you can see that it changes main, main. Now, you got to remember one little feature. The top part of the display is the A side. And the bottom part is the B side. Why is it so important to know that? Is because the A side can be programmed and tuned from about 150 kilohertz way up to about 499.999 megahertz. The B side can be tuned starting at 108 or 18 megahertz uh, for the air band and goes way up to 1299.999 megahertz. So you cannot program, for example, two AM broadcast band stations together because the A side will go to that frequency but not the B side. The B side will start at 130, uh, 118 megahertz. So be careful, you need to just understand that you cannot use all the frequencies all the time. So for example, yes on some frequency ranges where uh, basically this radio, the both VFOs can be tuned on the same frequencies is between 118 to 499 megahertz. So and for example, uh, 2 meter handband repeater here, uh, the main frequency is 146. Dot 700 and the frequency for the input of the repeater is 146.100 I just press main sub so that the little main button goes down now that's the part you control and if I put 146.100 oops 146.100 here you go you've got two the input and the output. And what's cool about that is that both work at the same time and are very independent. So when your main button is, for example, on the B side, the dial button on the top of your radio actually changed the, the volume. The right dial changes the volume on that bottom part and the left dial changes the volume on the top part. Now if you invert, okay, I showed you uh, there's a video on the dial selection. If you invert the dial selection, instead of being the volume, it's the frequency that will change on the top of the right and left. So depending on your dial setting, you'll either change one or the other volume or frequency on the dual watch. So 
they're really independent and uh, uh, an idea maybe I can give you about that is for example I'll put on the A part because it's possible this is a medium wave AM station I'll go to the B part and put the weather and each has its own volume setting but you can see here I'm actually listening to both frequencies exactly at the same time this is amazing and part of the fact, you know, I've seen a lot of people say that this radio is a little expensive. It is not when you look at all the features it has. It has more features than most other radios. And this dual watch feature is an example of how cool it is. Now, you may be you're saying, okay, but why would I want to listen to two frequencies at the same time? Well, that's the thing is that sometimes, for example, here, I have the local... Um, provincial police that will actually scan the highway for problems so if I enter my provincial police frequency if there's an accident there's also another frequency which is the provincial transport uh, commission which is Transport Quebec they might have some information concerning um, maybe getting a towing or maybe getting uh, the car uh, something's happening on the highway so by having both together I get a bigger picture for example the police will report there's an accident the uh, transport commission will have other types of details on the same accident because they are in charge of a highway so that's an example another example that I had a little earlier repeaters lots of amateur radio repeaters most repeaters have a offset a 600 kilohertz offset most of the time uh, I'd either higher or lower from the main frequency so that gives you an idea that you can listen to both the input and output of the repeater and gives you an idea which people you can hear which amateur radio station you can hear direct and the other ones through the repeater another example taxis if you listen to a taxi, taxis are in um, what we call a duplex mode. It means that they transmit on a frequency but listen on another. So if you listen to a, a taxi frequency, you'll have the taxi itself, but you won't hear the base station. Or the other way around. You can listen to the base stations, but never hear the taxis. So what you do is you'll actually input the base station and the taxi frequency so that means that you can actually hear both sides of the conversation when the taxis are in range dual watch is very cool function and what's even better you're going to be amazed if you don't know that it can do that is that you can actually put a frequency for example zero uh, I'll go back to the main uh, put it back to um, 0 0.690 now I want to go down here and I want to scan well you can actually just scan that frequency yes you do so for example all you need to do is press the scan button and hold and look at that if I while I'm listening here I'm actually scanning here so, this is so cool. You are listening to a signal and actually searching for another signal on another frequency. Even more and better, even better than that. You can actually. I'll go back here. I'll put 400. 40 megahertz you can actually scan here go down and scan here now both channels are actually scanning for different signals so this is really amazing 
This is very amazing. And so you can find signals by letting the radio scan the different frequency ranges. So that's quite amazing. If you think if you think about it, you actually can scan two different frequency ranges and listen to two different types of signals at the same time. What an amazing function this is than the dual watch. So hope you understand a little bit. Dual watch is activated by pressing and holding dual watch. You choose the different ranges between with the main sub button right there to the next. And just remember that this is the A side, the B side. A side goes from way down to 150 kilohertz. B side goes way down. The lowest is 130, uh, 118 megahertz, sorry. And the uh, A side, the highest frequency can go to is 499 megahertz. The B side will go up to 1299 kilohertz. So you can see here lots and lots of really cool features uh, at the same time on this dual wash. And when you're over, you say, I don't want dual wash anymore. All you need to do is press, press and hold dual watch and it will revert back to the regular uh, frequency range. Another uh, little feature of the dual watch is the fact that you can also um, set the different squelch level for different frequencies. So if you put two frequencies, you can put the squelch higher on one, lower on the other one. It's very, very cool, very independent. So this is, in my opinion, probably the best feature of the ICOM ICR20 radio. And uh, next to uh, the second best feature, uh, which I'll be coming up in another video, which is the uh, internal IC recorder. So that was the use of the dual watch function on the ICOM ICR20. I hope that I'm clear enough when I talk about it. Of course, if you have your radio, you take it with you and do what I do and press the buttons that I press and enter the frequencies that I enter even if there's nothing to listen to on that range for your area. Like that you'll actually do the same thing and you'll get used to the functions yourself. So this was Dual Watch. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments, questions, let us know. And if you have any um, maybe you have a request of a feature you'd like to see reviewed, let me know. And so, hope you enjoy these videos, 73s.